We are covering a major winter storm hitting our region right now. We've seen sleet and ice from North Carolina to the peninsula. I'm Laura Queso. Thanks for joining us for our continuing coverage. The Hampton Roads Bridge Tunnel and Monitor Merrimack Memorial Bridge. We have just learned the tunnels are operating with a reduced speed limit of 25 miles per hour. VDOT is strongly urging you to avoid travel during the storm, during the heavy snow that is falling. And with the heavy snow, there are power outages as well. Let's take a live look right here at the Dominion power outage map. Southeastern Virginia, more than 4,000 people are without power right now. In Virginia Beach, 5,000 people or more without power. This is in the Fairfield and Kempsville Gardens areas. Nearly 500 outages in Norfolk. 400 in Suffolk. So this is just going to show you that there are people without power, thousands of them really because of this heavy snow. Uh, and real quick, I want to just tell you about uh, Roy Cooper, the governor of North Carolina, and how he's urging people to stay off the roads there. Also, Governor um, McCrory, uh, excuse me, McAuliffe in Virginia, saying that there is a state of emergency in Virginia, so to stay off the roads there as well. Also, we just got this in from Virginia State Police, who have said that from 12 a.m. to noon, there have been 84 traffic crashes because of this weather. So, again, urging you to stay off the roads there. Now, let's get to our 85. Fox. He is live in Virginia Beach for us. And uh, Andy, we know that crews have been working to plow the main streets there. How's it looking right now? Oh, uh, Laura, I'll tell you, we are out here on the uh, boardwalk at uh, 25th and Atlantic. And, you know, this is not a day for man or beast, but it is clearly evident to us out here that man and beast are both enjoying this day. It is very breezy. It is biting. The wind is very biting. And it is certainly a day to stay inside unless you want to come out. And, you know, we have the Weather Channel over here. They've shown up and people are uh, coming out and they are uh, enjoying the day as much as you can. But it is very treacherous driving. Uh, we were coming in on 264. We saw an incident out there. And joining me now is the guy now that we're talking about roads the guy that is really the top transportation guy and this is Aubrey Lane who is Secretary of Transportation Mr. Secretary thank you Andy as we're out here we feel it and it certainly is been a uh, inclement weather conditions all day hopefully they'll bait later today uh, certainly has made driving very very treacherous quite a few incidents in Hampton Roads across the state, so it encouraged people to stay off the roads. How has the response been? Here in Virginia Beach, it doesn't seem like things are that bad, but I do know that the residential roads are, are really clogged up, and I don't know what's going to happen next week for schools. Well, the response has been good, partly because Governor McAuliffe declared a state of emergency yesterday, he gave us plenty of time to plan. Uh, we sent extra assets to this area because we knew it was going to be impacted very significantly. Um, so I think the response has been good, but please stay off the road so these people can do their jobs. Now, we know that the main primary roads are being taken care of, and excellent job, by the way. I see a lot of subcontractors out there plowing, keeping up with it. The secondary roads are going to be attacked later on today and tomorrow. What about the residential roads? These are the critical roads that will determine whether the children go to school. Yes, and of course, primarily, they're a responsibility of the cities. We're coordinating with them. We have additional contractors and VDOT crews, and to the extent the cities would ask us to come in and do that, we'll help them participate. Uh, we are getting word from Virginia Beach that they will not clear the residential roads because they are small and there's not a lot of turnaround and it's dangerous, they say, and the snow builds up. But the thing is, with that in mind, what can we tell parents about school this week here in Hampton Roads? Well, I was with the mayor and the city manager yesterday here in the city of Virginia Beach. They're anticipating it later in the week before they are be able to go to school. We're not going to get uh, above freezing temperatures till Tuesday. Um, so again, to be stay safe, that's the most important thing during these type of conditions. What is the word from around the areas around Hampton Roads? What are you hearing? Well, what are you uh, seeing? Southeast Virginia has been the most significantly impacted, although Richmond, the Northern Neck, and even as far out as Culpeper has gotten it. Um, but so all the roads in those areas are snowy. Down here, we're also dealing with ice underneath, so we've got to be very, very careful. So again, let the our professionals do their jobs stay off the roads as the governor has asked until uh, the conditions improve. I had a dear friend who lost a loved one and was trying to get to Richmond, asked me, Andy, can I make it there safely? I know what I told him. What advice would you have given him? Well, I'm here to Richmond. Uh, off 60 or the, or the interstates. Yes, I would obviously extreme, extreme care in going. Those roads are primary roads or the plows are out now doing that. 
But even with that, it's going to be treacherous conditions, and so I would just tell her to be extremely careful if she ventures out. Good. Anything else you can tell us, Mr. Secretary? Uh, just everybody be safe and uh, uh, get the word out uh, to, to hunker down until this is over with. Okay, very well. Thank you, uh, Secretary Lane. And we'll have more from Secretary Lane uh, coming up in our newscast. Uh, but, Laura, as you can see, uh, we do have people out here. Uh, they are coming out here. They are enjoying the weather. Uh, it is severe weather. It is a biting wind out here. We are under blizzard warnings in some areas. I can tell you from my own eyesight and my own eyewitness account, I can tell you that the roads on 264 are very passable uh, and also coming down, uh, coming down Atlantic and Pacific at the ocean front, passable as well. Keep in mind, the Lesnar Bridge is still closed both directions and there is no sledding at Mount Trashmore. They're afraid that the children will go into the streets, so there is no sledding at Mount Trashmore, although unfortunately, Mr. Secretary, probably the best place to sled in, uh, in Virginia Beach. But Laura, that's the latest. I will tell you, it is a biting wind out here at the oceanfront. On the boardwalk at the oceanfront, Andy Fox, 10 on your side. Laura, back to you. Andy, thanks so much, and I really hope that you get inside and uh, get warm there. Speaking about the Lesnar Bridge, though, we want to let you know at home, it did reopen a little while ago. It was closed for some time this morning, but it is now open if you need to use that bridge. Now let's get to a uh, video from Jason Marks and Greg Gadbury. You're seeing this right now. They're driving around cautiously. Right now they are on 664 Newport News. I texted Jason a little while ago. He says uh, it's dicey out there. Conditions are dicey. There are some parts of 64 in Chesapeake and 664 in Suffolk, they're not great. So uh, definitely be careful if you're going out there. There's a live look right now. Okay, let's get you to some pictures that you've been sending in from across the region. Of course, we thank you for that. We appreciate it. This is a beauty shot here. Can we get that from Barry? This is in Norfolk. Thank you, Barry, for braving the cold and posting that on our Facebook page, our wavy one. Check out this picture. It's from Kempsville. This just goes to show how heavy that snow is. Our meteorologists have been saying that it is, in fact, true. Bree in Newport News. Uh, Stay safe. You can see in the back there, a tree actually fell on the power lines. We brought you the power outage map earlier, and there are thousands of people without power. Here's a shot from Gloucester, northern Gloucester. All that snow sure adding up in the back of that truck there. And I had to show this to you. It's a cute one in the midst of all this. A puppy who looks like he sure is enjoying himself. Thank you, Deborah, for sending that in. And send your pictures to us. There are several ways. Email us at reported at wavy.com. You can also post to our Facebook page or just tweet us at Wavy. And right now we need to get to meteorologist Ashley Baylor who is in and continues to track this winter weather and all that snow accumulating. It is. And you know, it really depends on where you are. Sure. I mean, these are some very interesting numbers that are coming in. Uh, parts of the south side, some places only seeing two to three inches, but up along the peninsula, that's where we're definitely seeing some of those higher amounts. And what really made the difference was any sort of sleet and freezing rain mixing in. As we were saying for days, that was going to keep those totals lower. Whoever saw that wintry mix. Let's take a look at our satellite and radar composite right now, where we are still tracking some bands of moderate to heavy snow, especially especially up along the peninsula. Right now, some heavier snow right through Surrey and Sussex County up towards James City County and also right into Williamsburg. You can see those darker shades of blue there. But look south of Elizabeth City, right towards the Albemarle Sound and along the Outer Banks. That's where we are seeing a temporary dry slot right now, although those areas have mostly seen ice and rain. Now we're going to start to get on the back edge of this uh, departing system here. So it is eventually going to pull all of this snow back through northeast North Carolina and the Outer Banks. So even though you guys, again, are just dry for now, it's temporary. All this still has to come through before we can completely put this in our rear view mirror. But just to show you what's going on down there, you can see from Elizabeth City through southern shores down towards Manio, uh, we are dry. But out towards the Hosky, Windsor, you guys are still picking up on some light snow. Murfreesboro, you guys have those darker shades of blue, again, indicating that steady, moderate snowfall and that's going to continue uh, to move off to the north and west. We have some moderate snowfall in Suffolk right now. We're also picking up on some steady snow up towards Newport News through downtown Portsmouth through downtown Norfolk as well. A little bit farther to the north. Again, you can see those really, really dark shades of blue stretching from Wakefield all the way up towards Williamsburg. So that's when, again, these inches start adding up and that's why the peninsula and uh, middle peninsula have actually seen some of the higher amounts upwards towards uh, 10 inches possibly now up towards Williamsburg. Gloucester, you're still picking up on some steady snow. And uh, some of that steady snow is along the eastern shore as well. They're starting to see some breaks in the action there. And that'll continue to be the case. You may get these temporary breaks in the snow, but 
storm is not completely done yet. We still have that blizzard warning in effect for these areas shaded in this orange color. That includes Northampton County along the eastern shore. It includes the city of Chesapeake, the city of Hampton, Norfolk, Portsmouth, and Virginia Beach. And the reason they are under a blizzard warning is uh, specifically for that driving wind and the fact that that wind can actually reduce visibility to under a quarter mile at times. So it's mostly the coastal areas that have been under that blizzard warning, the rest of us under that winter storm warning. Now here's our future track forecast. We're going to take you out towards 3 o'clock and again we'll get on the back edge of this system and it looks like things are going to start to taper off just to a few snow showers by the time we get to 5 o'clock tonight. And notice winds turning out of the northwest and when that happens, that'll start to dry things up as well. So we still have a few hours to go here and again that snow can continue to pile up. But watch as we go through the overnight hours, we'll actually see the clouds break apart and as that happens, temperatures are going to get pretty cold. Here we are at 8 o'clock in the morning and temperatures will actually be in the teens, but with that northwest wind at 20 miles per hour, you will easily be talking wind chill values in the single digits. So it's going to be pretty unpleasant and bitterly cold out there for tomorrow morning. So for today, uh, we we're looking at about 8 to 12 inches through places like Suffolk, Isle of Wight County, Southampton Hampton County, the city of Franklin, Surrey, Sussex County, up towards um, most of the peninsula, middle peninsula, and up along the eastern shore. And again, the snow is not done here. So I would say um, this is actually reading pretty good here between 8 to 12 inches there. But as we were predicting, there's a very, very sharp cutoff going into parts of Chesapeake, Virginia Beach, and down towards uh, northeast North Carolina. But again, getting on the back edge of this system, we will pull some snow through northeast North Carolina. So if you're down there and you haven't necessarily seen a lot of snow just yet, it's on the way. Now here's a look at some of the snowfall reports that we've gotten so far. If you want to send them in, feel free to send them to report it at wavy.com. Feel free to post on Facebook or Twitter. Definitely love to hear from you now if you have some updated snowfall totals. Looking at about 10 inches in Williamsburg and Lee Hall, anywhere from about 6 to 7 inches. Gloucester so far picking up 9 inches there, 6 in Hampton, and about 8 inches in Accomack. But um, some of these were actually reported an hour or two ago, so those numbers are likely even a little bit higher now. Let's take a look at wind speed and direction, and we're still watching that driving north wind sustained anywhere between 7 up to 31 miles per hour. So as predicted, closer to the coastline is where you're going to find those higher wind speeds. And again, these are sustained wind speeds. Look at the wind gusts. We have wind gusts up to 40 miles per hour at Virginia Beach, up to 32 in Newport News, 31 down in Kill Devil Hills. And again, that's exactly why the blizzard warning was in effect for those areas. It has nothing to do with the amount of snow that falls. It more has to do with wind and visibility. So as we go from noon to 3 o'clock, uh, the snowfall will continue and then it will start to taper off, but that wind uh, stays with us. So it's one thing we are not going to be able to shake as we go through the evening and on into the overnight hours. And in fact, it's going to stay pretty windy even as we go into Sunday, and that's go going to basically keep things really cold out there. Temperatures tomorrow are only expected to top out in the mid 20s, but when you factor in that wind that will be blowing anywhere between 10 to 20 miles per hour, that is going to keep wind chills in the teens just going into the afternoon. But luckily, if you're looking Looking for a little help from Mother Nature to melt some of this snow. Temperatures will be back in the upper 50s to low 60s for next Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Those are the days to look forward to at this point, Laura. All right, Ashley, looking forward to it for sure. Thanks so much. And we're on your side with extensive team coverage across the region today. Of course, our team of meteorologists working very hard right now. You just saw a live report from our Andy Fox in Virginia Beach. Jason Marks checking the road conditions right now. He's in Newport News. Later this afternoon, we will be checking in with Liz Kilmer on the peninsula. Our Mac Gregory is in Williamsburg right now, and Joe Fisher just talked to him. He is braving the cold in Chesapeake. We'll have more live coverage throughout the night with additional crews set up throughout the area. One more thing to note is that HRT has suspended all travel today, so they are not uh, going out buses, uh, the rail, whatnot. As far as closings and delays, there are a lot of them, hundreds. Go to wavy.com. We have a web team who's updating that constantly. And of course, as I said it, stay with us for continuing coverage. We'll be checking back every half hour for you. Of course, stay with us on social media. Our website, wavy.com, as our crews continue to cover this winter storm. We're on your side, making sure you're safe. We'll be back.